Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is number 19 video in this series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure DFS on Windows Server 2019. So DFS is known as a distributed file system. So distributed file system means uh, the end user is not going to see where the file is uh, well where the file is exactly hosted, which file server is uh, being in use at at a backend, and um, all the files uh, structure is going to be distributed across multiple servers, and we can define which name space is going to be represent and uh, to which server it's going to connect so uh, from here you can see uh, this is uh, going to be basically a, a two a two parts you can say the dfs is going to be uh, divided in two parts the first thing is going to be uh, your name space name is space is going to be a basically logical name uh, for providing the logical name to access user the of share folders or the things which you are going to give to the user so here you can see like for example namespace server uh, it's going to be your dfs server is uh, known as a name namespace server and on a namespace server you can see the name uh, root is, uh, root namespace is going to be your company name and like your a domain name like vector inf uh, vac vac vector info soul dot local and then you can create any folder on it and then you can associate multiple folders on uh, that namespace and you can also at the back uh, this is going to be a uh, your front end which the users going to uh, going to be uh, C and users are going to be used uh, on the browsers to access these share folders but the back end the the namespace is uh, added to the uh, DFS management is on a back end it's going to be distributed on different different file servers and different different location or drive so uh, so basically front uh, user uh, cannot assume where the file is going to be stored and at the back end it's going to distribute it all over the uh, sites uh, and you can configure also replication which i'm going to uh, 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 show you in next video uh, dfs replication so this is a pretty cool thing you can you can uh, to manage the file share and file service structure um, uh, to have a simplify the uh, sharing permissions and everything uh, to look or uh, share per uh, shares um, like uh, helpful for users to identify and users to get those names so we'll see how we can do the, uh, how we can create the namespace server how we can install and configure dfs and then how we can create a target folder and attach that target for different uh, different target folders to our namespace so let's get in so this is my demo environment which I am going to use in this uh, video. So the first server is Win2K19 DC01 which is our ActiveDirect and DNS server. And the IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.201. And my domain name is victorinfosol.local. So this is my AD server. Here you go. So this is ActiveDirect and DNS and DHCP server is running. And if I go to local server, this is my Active Directory Win2K19. D DC01 and my domain name is victorinfosol.com so, uh, dot local so this is my active directory server and if I go to tools you can see my active directory users and computers uh, is there so this is my active directory server and next server is going to be our DFS server which is going to be win2k19 DFS01 so this server is not yet ready I have just installed a bare server and I have not done anything on this machine this is freshly installed server so we are going to configure this server together and then we are going to install DFS and configure DFS and creating the namespace adding the target folder everything we are going to do it together so so I'm going to configure this uh, uh, server right now so uh, the last server uh, machine which we have is a client machine basically which is um, win 10 cl01 which is my client machine which is running windows 10 and from this machine we are going to access the our uh, dfs namespace and we are going to see how we can access and how we can work on dfs uh, shares by using the uh, from the, from the client you client user end user in, uh, perspective so this is all infra so let's get in I'm on my DFS01 so I'm going to configure the IP address first 
so I'm going to give it IP address as per our plan here as per uh, this 192.168.0.202 so I'm going to configure here manual IP address 192.168.0.202 then I'm going to give gateway and my primary DC IP address as a DNS and my router gateway router to get the internet so I have configured the internet uh, thing and IP address and now I'm going to join this machine in domain so from here I'm going to click on first rename the machine so it's going to be DFS01 I'm going to type my domain name Victor Infosol dot local and then we need to type the credential to join this machine in domain so my credential here administrator and password for this administrator account so welcome to the victor infosol dot local so click ok and now i'm going to reboot this machine and i'm going to log in to this dfs server as account i have created here dfs admin account and you can see the machine is joining my domain and now i'm going to move it to my correct or folder OU structure which is for DFS so we have to make sure after joining the DFS server in Active Directory uh, we have moved that DFS server in correct OU so this is good now I can go ahead and log in with the DFS admin account so DFS admin and I'm going to use the password for it now we have logged in successfully so this on this machine I have two drives uh, one for operating system one you can see for DFS on DFS drive I have one folder called public here you can see, uh, see this folder is not shared it's not shared you can see here so this is a, only a folder which having some content some data some scripts so this is the folder and this is the drive which we are going to create all the DFS targets folder target and so let's get started and install the DFS management uh, DFS management uh, DFS server and DFS manager tool so from server manager click on manage and add role and features click next role based installation this is going to become under file server so this is our server so click next and I'm going to expand the file server and I'm going to select DFS namespace and replication also because in next video I'm going to show you the DFS replication so click next by default it's uh, when you check the DFS namespace and DFS replication is going to apply uh, mark the file server also so click next click next and uh, what this is going to install file and storage services it's going to install DFS namespace DFS replication and file server also it's going to install DFS remote uh, management tool so good click on install and this is going to take some time to get the installation done uh, it's going to take uh, I guess less than a minute to get the installation done so we have to wait for some time here and once the installation is done we are going to create a DFS namespace and then we are going to add a target folder to this DFS namespace and then we are going to verify uh, from accessing the client machine so I'm going to do this wait for some time to get the installation completed so almost 70 percent completed So now installation succeeded and I'm going to close this and now I'm going to click on tools and DFS management. So we got both thing DFS namespace and management since we installed uh, management and uh, namespace and replication both. So right click on namespace so first I'm going to create a namespace so right click on it on new namespace 
and then you need to specify the server where you want to create the namespace so currently I'm going to create the namespace on this DFS01 so I'm going to browse this win2k19 DFS01 and you can see the name has been server has been identified click next now it's going to say you the name so I'm going to create a folder called uh, like I'm going to create something India HO head office and I'm going to leave this setting for default now later on you in case you need you can go ahead and change these also so I'm going to leave it default and click next and then uh, this is going to show you uh, you want the uh, standalone namespace which is going to be a like server and then it's going to give you the uh, this name uh, path of share so I'm going to uh, based on domain base so we can access this namespace by using this uh, uh, our domain name slash no uh, India show so I'm going to do it and if you have uh, some legacy environment you can go ahead and enable uh, Windows Server 2008 otherwise you can unhide this so click next and then you can see review the setting what we are going to do namespace which we are going to create and type of namespace uh, domain based and 2008 mode is selected and our DFS server name namespace server and root folder and where we are going to create it so just click on create so now you can see the namespace has been created succeeded so this is good and now if I expand this you can see the namespace is created and if I go here and try to open this in browser or uh, and run you can see we are open we are able to open it and if I go ahead and open this from my client machine also I'm able to open it so this is good so namespace is basically created but we don't have any folder here uh, on this uh, share folder which uh, namespace we have created so we can now go to add the uh, folder to this namespace so I'm going to right click and you can see here we got the namespace add folder so new folder I'm going to add and then I'm going to click on add and then going to browse it and you can see we have a D under the D drive we have folder called public but it's not shared so we don't need to share this folder so I'm going to create uh, click here new so folder I'm going to click on browse and then I'm going to here click on browse I'm going to give local path of this folder so which is public I'm going to give here path also share name which I'm going to do share and I'm going to uh, give all users read write permission and you can define the permission by customize what you want to give share perm security permission so for now I'm going to give the everyone read and write so click ok and click ok and now give the uh, one more click ok and then you can give the name of folder so I'm going to call it public and you can see this is the uh, full path which we are going to use to access this folder so we are good and click OK now you can see the folder is created and we can see the uh, physical path which is going to be here and now you can go ahead and browse these folders if you want and you can see the folder you are able to access these folders so I'm going to open in explorer so you can see I'm able to open this folder but this is going to be referred from the path which we uh, given here so now let's verify from the DFS path which we have created uh, namespace so I'm going to access the namespace which we have created under the, uh, under the namespace you can see the folder is there public folder is there so this is good and now let's verify from our client machine you can already see we are able to access it and now this is good and now if you want to map this folder to our client machine you can go ahead and you can see the folder is going to be mapped so this is good 
So this is how we can create the name space first and then how we can uh, associate the target folders to name space and how we can access the name space. So this is all about uh, installing and configuring name space uh, by using the DFS. So in next video I'm going to show you how to uh, install and configure DFS replication. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.